Last time on the Kingdom Hearts 2 Randomizer. I was gonna say Randomizer Nuzlocke. I haven't done a Randomizer Nuzlocke in a while. Why is that still such like muscle memory for my mouth? Anyway, uh, we figured out that we can actually grind magic boosts. And if we find the other data fights, we might be able to potentially grind things like defense, god thank, boosts and uh, power boosts and... I don't think AP boosts necessarily, which is a bit of a shame. But in today's episode, we're going to go into... Uh, I think this is the Pride Lands. Uh, do that because Zigbar should be next up on our list. Let's see. I also uh, got a message which I'm going to check later. And uh, it's not the Pride Lands. It's the Land of Dragons. It's still a thing with lands in it, which is uh, at least something that I got right there, kind of. Uh, Zigbar, Luxot, Syax, Roxas, Zamnus is the order of things right now. So Zigbar, Luxot today, uh, Syax, Zamnus last episode, and then we do the Kevin of Remembrance after that, I guess? There's gonna be a lot of boss fights in the, in the last episode, because we have the entirety of the world never was, which is Roxas, and then Zigbar, Luxot, Presumably won't be randomized. Syx might be randomized. We, we've run into Syx in different places already. So I'm assuming Syx will be randomized. Uh, Zamnus, first form Zamnus, will be randomized. Um, are we just immediately going to the Imperial Square here? I think we might be missing out on a thing. But there's at least some chests around here. I'm recording these back to back. It's been a while since I've recorded videos uh, back to back at all. Nope, that ain't it. We have to go up to the top of the mountain. That's what we have to do. So I'll be there with you in a moment. Oh yeah, the Mysterious Man. Uh, the fight against Riku, not Riku, kind of Riku. It's Riku. Uh, which is going to be ridiculously easy, most likely. I kind of forgot about that. It's, it's not as easy as I thought it'd be. Because Riku is still a powerful dude. Anyhow, um, we can do this because it's not randomized and we can probably... Skip this mostly because it's not right. This is one of those fights that you don't actually have to take down all of its HP, do you? I don't think you do. Maybe you do. I. He doesn't have a lot of HP left. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> so he, he might just go down all the way. No, he won't. It's a fight that's on a timer. Is it? It has to be because I can't damage him anymore. So please just end this fight, because if I if I can't damage it, I literally need to hit him one more time. Okay, never mind. And then we go immediately into the boss fight for this world. This world is a really, really short one, so we might actually be able to do a third one this episode as well. I still don't know how I'm supposed to get that puzzle piece, by the way. Can somebody enlighten me? How in the fuck am I supposed to get that puzzle piece? Because <laughs> I have no idea. It's probably something to do with, like, hitting the bell with magic or something. I don't know. It's not something that you can just get through, like, aerial dodging gliding. It's not a parkour kind of situation. It's it's definitely something the game... Like, something weird. Something Kingdom Hearts 1 would do. My maximum AP increase. Okay. Um... I was complaining about the amount of ability points I had before. Uh, that issue seems to slowly be getting fixed, which I'm very, very happy about. Again, my magic stat is kind of disgusting, and I fucking love it. My strength stat ain't too bad either. Obviously, my magic stat is a lot better. If nothing else, this playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2 has finally solidified the use of a little bit more magic other than just reflect into uh, how I play this game. Obviously, Kingdom Hearts 3, I play a lot with magic. Because magic in that game is grossly overpowered. But I haven't really played that much with magic other than in Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 1 magic is not great at all. Kingdom Hearts 2, it's bad. Kingdom Hearts 3, it's really powerful. Uh, but having a high magic stat like this really shows you how powerful magic can be. Especially in Final Form, because Final Form, it boosts your magic stat even more. And also, it just makes the area of effect of all your magic. It changes the casting of your magic to have a bigger area of effect. It's fantastic. 
I love Final Four. Anyway, so we've got some chests around here. I probably should uh, should be getting out of here as soon as I can. Lucky ring. I don't really need that. But sure, thanks anyway. Secret item report four. Don't really need it. High potion. Don't, no thank you for that. No, I, I don't even. More Anthem reports. What does the Emperor of China have to do with secret Anthem reports? Because I don't think he really cares so much about the darkness in people's hearts. Maybe he does. Maybe the Emperor of China is a bad person. Would you think? <laughs> yeah, without Aerial Dodge, I'm not going to be able to get that one, eh? So let's uh, back out of this world. Come back in to beat the boss and then go into the next world. See, with the combination of those two abilities, easy. It's easy to get. Very easy indeed. So now let's go beat whatever this boss turns into. It might be one of those kind of bosses that's so big and so area dependent that it's not getting rendered. It's Sephiroth! Okay. Um. That's not great. I mean, I said we can probably take Sephiroth last episode, so let's put that into practice. Let's see if we can take on Sephiroth in a very big arena as well, which makes Sephiroth probably, in some respects, more difficult, in some respects, probably a tiny bit easier. So far, we don't seem to be doing too badly, though. I, I need to heal. <laughs> I can use... Wait a second. I can use Final Form against Sephiroth. That's a first. Oh, that's gonna help a lot. Oh, that's gonna help so much. Okay, that didn't help that much. Okay, that didn't help at all. Okay, that's not great. I don't have Retaliating Slash in Final Form? What the hell is that? Um, potion, potion type, potion type, potion type. At least I have dodge rule, right? Until I have reflect again. No! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! We can do this. We, we can definitely do this. I was unprepared. Let's save state. Sephiroth versus Mickey! Here we go! <laughs> this should be interesting! <laughs> this should definitely be interesting. I mean, you can do that. I don't mind. You can do that. We're back to Sora again. Sure, that didn't last that long. Last time I did a uh, Mickey in a character that wasn't supposed to be able to be hit by Mickey, uh, things didn't go that well, so that's why I needed to save state. Just to be sure, because I didn't save after- No, 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 no! No, you don't! You did it again! You fucking did it again! Too late. Mickey, I need you. Buddy. Of course not. Oh yeah, Berserk Charge. That actually works wonders against Sephiroth, until he teleports away, that is. Uh, but that did do very well. Um, I think we're almost back at the- <laughs> amount of HP he had before, so that's good. It's really difficult to hit Sephiroth with a Reflect uh, because the timing is very tight on it before he teleports. It's not impossible because I did it before. It's just very tight timing and you tend to get hit yourself as well. Uh, retaliating Slash also, you need to wait a second until you actually use it. No, 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 no. You don't. This time, you do not. <laughs> I don't want that Heartless Angel bullshit anymore. We had that, done that, been there, no more. Not doing that again. Okay, it's the end time, and I don't think you can really do that much against me, especially since I can glide very quickly. I have a lot of room, which I usually wouldn't have. Okay, uh, this is a great time for Mickey to save me. And that's where I got T-posed. I mean, if he can still kill me, that gives me everything I need. I'm gonna use Cure now just to get my MP recharging and... No, 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 no. 
a lot more room to glide around, make this attack very trivial. Uh, Mulan, I would very much like you to wake the fuck up so I can transform. That would be very beneficial for me. That's last than ideal. Okay, we got Sephiroth, we got this. We, we, no problem. <laughs> At all. Well, okay, maybe a little bit of a problem, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, I think it's about time for Final Form. Because this. Again, Final Form against Sephiroth, something you don't usually really get to do. So, very much enjoying that. Probably also a very good way to T-pose myself. <laughs> no. No Heartless Angel. Oh, well, y you're going to die. So maybe you'll turn into a Heartless Angel. And we got a Dark Shard for our troubles. But we also beat Sephiroth, which I said we were probably going to do last episode. We did it this episode. Also, wow, the audio is spiking a lot in this recording. I'm very sorry for that. It's, it's not like spiking much. It's just spiking like a lot of the time. When I talk, I'm pretty much just screaming a lot, is, is what it comes down to. Uh, let's get rid of this final form transformation and then move into the next world, which I think I said was Psyx, right? Nope, it's Luxit. We're gonna go to the pirate world, which. I don't think the, the boss is going to be randomized. Then again, th there's no way that Sephiroth is not getting put in the thumbnail for this one. So it doesn't really matter that much, <laughs> does it? Uh, but I don't think this is going to be too much of an interesting world. So there's probably going to be a lot of skipping. Uh, we're going to have some chests, but mostly this world is just going to be skipped, which makes sense. Oh, hello! This one does actually get randomized into a uh, Blizzard Gunlord. A uh, Fira Gunlord. We already beat Blizzard Gunlord. This one has significantly less HP, though. Um, and significantly less defense. It's probably got something to do with the fact that it's not a data uh, level fight. I think Blizzard Gun just got turned into a data level fight. That, that's pretty much what's going on. No, because data fights are always grossly overpowered, even if you encounter them early game. So it's probably just because it's... Uh, it's a, counted as a late game world, and then again, so should this be. So why is Blizzard Gun so much more powerful than Fira Gun? Is he just usually that much more powerful? Because I kind of doubt it. The entire idea behind him is that they're a duo, so they're probably roughly similar in strength and HP. Something there doesn't quite add up. I'm guessing Blizzard Gun just got a bit of a boost due to being in a, in a data fight arena. This is actually an area where we get a couple of new chests, so that is very, very exciting indeed, and we get a potion. It's uh, all the excitement gone. Just just left my body entirely. <laughs> and no experience. Thank you. Because I didn't want any experience to begin with, now did I? Again, there's some chests around here, and that's pretty much the only useful thing in this world. Naval map. I guess... I guess that is a thing. I don't even know where that... Presumably that's from this world, specifically? But I don't know. Also, Thunderer is dealing a lot of damage, even though I don't have any Thunder Boosts equipped, and it's not even Thunder Gar. And more... Fucking synthesis items, because why not? Now we got to go after all those medallions, which is just boring. So I'm going to cut ahead. Until now, because apparently there's a chest around here with dodge roll in it. And there's another chest around here, which has mithril stones. And then there's a, uh, a thing that needs to die. It's just that easy. Again, Thunderer instant kills those dudes. It's, it's kind of disgusting. Again, it's mostly because my magic stat is disgusting, I am aware. But it's a, a thing that homes and is just powerful and not even at its full power yet. And frankly, it, it's kind of stupid how powerful it is. But I won't complain. I got an AP boost for leveling up to level 50. Just... Thought you should know that. Also, I think I got a defense boost. Again, finally. I haven't been getting a lot of those, but getting any of them is, is a good thing in my book. <laughs> definitely air combo boost, and definitely 
that's about everything I really need. I guess I've been using Thunder a lot, so when I get around to it, Thunder Boost might not be a bad thing. Fire and Blizzard Boost I don't really care about. MP Rage might as well. Critical Half also is an ability that I would very much like, so at least like 10 more AP for the abilities that I have right now would be a very useful thing to have. Um, but still, Thunder as is does a lot of damage, so I don't really need a Thunder Boost. It would be helpful against things like bosses and and bosses, but mostly just about bosses, really. And this boss fight is just the same, so we're gonna skip and go to uh, the next world after this one immediately, because you've seen me fight this boss, you know how this boss works. It's it's fairly easy. You use magic against its, uh, its zombie form, and then when it's skeleton form, you use attacks to actually damage its HP. Again, it's it's a real easy boss, it's just kind of tedious, and I, I don't feel like talking over it. My god, you're taking a lot of HP damage, aren't you? Like, a, a shit ton of damage. <laughs> Look at the amount of HP damage, okay, there, there goes all the damage. I do like how it makes sense, though, that I, I'm talking over it anyway. I, I do like how it makes sense, though, that the Keyblade you get for finishing this fight has usually... Not in this case, obviously, but usually has the uh, ability draw on it. Because obviously that's an ability that's very useful in this actual fight. So the uh, the reward and the fight are somewhat related to each other. And I always do appreciate that. And I think that is a, a little detail that goes unnoticed by a lot of people. Like not that I'm the only one that ever picked up on it, but I feel like a lot of people don't like put it like put two and two together. For that one. And again, just look at the amount of damage I deal against this fucker. It's honestly kind of sad for him. Uh, and then when I use Reflect against it, it actually... Okay, it has a lot of magic resistance, maybe? I, and there you go again. DM time. I got a Mithril Stone for it, because again, it's always synthesis materials. It just has to be. It's never anything else. It's always synthesis materials. Because that's just the way... The world works. I said I was going to do another world, but looking at how long this recording has been, I don't know how long the episode has been, but I'm leaning more towards let's do a hundred acre wood because we got a torn page and there's some chests around here. So that could be exciting. And maybe we can even get a torn page inside this torn page and just keep this thing going indefinitely and just get all the items in the game. That's not how that works. I am aware, but I can dream. J just let me... Just let me have the hope, okay? Let me have the hope that this chest is going to give me explosion. I really, really was hoping that it was actually going to give me explosion. <laughs> this mini game fucking sucks in super speed mode. It really does. It really, really does. Now I have to do it again. Just because... <sighs> Even if I get another torn page, I need to complete this minigame first, so I might as well do it right now. But as you can see, uh, the minigames in this have been sped up significantly. For some reason, the Atlantica songs have not, and I would very much have preferred those to be sped up, but sure. Uh, the minigames in 100 Acre would have been sped up just because they're tedious to do otherwise, apparently. Uh, this one becomes much more difficult as a result. Maybe they have been sped up to make them more difficult and that's such more interesting. Uh, if that was the idea, did you know? <laughs> I, I do not like that idea. You can pick up those balloons uh, for a bit of extra protection and I'm doing way better this time than I did last time. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's kind of a pain. So it's also real difficult to pick up those balloons when you can't see them coming. Well, that didn't give me that much. Uh, next time, we have to go to... Syx is the only one left, together with the data fight in this one, and then uh, finally this one. So maybe, just maybe, this will be our actual final boss. Who knows? Next time, Syx, and potentially... Potentially the world will never was as well. I don't know. We'll see. And so then, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed this video, which hopefully you have. I will see you all back next time, which is going to be one of the last videos until we start over again, potentially, or do something else. I, I am not entirely sure about that yet. I'll see you all back next time. I was supposed to talk about what to do after this randomizer, 
before the end of the video. Well, I forgot about that. Bye. <laughs>